Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on Spanish Town Road. Now, this road is under construction. It's been under construction for such a long time, years now. Now, the project entailed two parts. National Water Commission was to, well, they did it, assign the pipeline project to a contractor, a local contractor and then NWA assigned the road paving project to a contractor. Now, this road is at a standstill for so long. And recently I heard a discussion in the parliament where they were saying, I think it was Lady Musgrave Road, or East King's House Road was to be renovated. In the last budget, the funds were allocated and no work has started on the road and they have put back the road project in this year's budget. So the same thing is, what is going on with this road? Is it the same thing? Because the, obviously, look at the road. The road paving has not started yet. Look at the state of the road. They dug up the road to lay the pipes and the paving has not been done yet. And I'm sure it's just going to be reoccurring in the budget every year, just like what they brought up about East King's House Road. So, I don't know what's going on. If anybody knows why this road has not been repaved yet, leave a comment in the section below, but we're just pointing it out. This is something that's happening too often. If you have the money, you have the contractor, everything signed off on, why do we have to drive on a road like this? Why can't the road be paved? Why can't the road be renovated? And this is a main road in Jamaica. It takes you into and out of the city of Kingston. This is 10 o'clock in the day. Can you imagine this road at peak hour, how busy it is? Now the government is doing a lot to renovate roads. We give them that. But seriously, you cannot do a project halfway and then just stop. The funds allocated, maybe the contract has even been paid already. We don't know but the contractor has been assigned for both the pipeline project and, the, and the, the paving of the road. So I have no idea what's going on. It's been like this for way too long. And just like what the discussion was in Parliament, what they do is assign the project, assign the funds, and then no work is done. And then the following year they talk about the same project and the project should have been done a year ago so but the discussion was about what happened to the money i mean you allocate ten dollars to build a road you don't build a road but then you allocate the same ten dollar again the following year that was what that discussion was about in par in parliament something along that lines but it's the same thing that's going on with this road. The contracts have been given out. They have been given, the name of the contractors are there. They're local contractors. I don't remember the name of the, the thing. And the pipeline work had started. It was being done. And then all of a sudden, nothing. The last you heard is, the last official communique I saw was, by the way, we're going on to Mandela Highway now. The last official communique was the pipes were laid i think this came from water commission and they were pressure testing the pipes to make sure they worked and that was over a year ago probably more than a year and that's it we haven't heard anything else on the project other than they're pressure testing the pipes so if anybody knows what's going on what the hold up is because it's not the money the, the funds have been allocated for the project the contract has been assigned. The last we heard officially was they were pressure testing the pipes and once they sign off on the pressure testing, the, the road will be paved. So just giving you guys an update on the project that basically it's at a standstill. 